Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our videos and it is time to learn a little bit more about another mysterious ape human that once lived alongside our other ancestors. Found in the Dinaledi chamber of the rising star caves of South Africa, here we are going to discuss about Homo naledi. With naledi meaning star, fossils of this species were discovered in the rising star cave cradle of humankind South Africa. In 2013, two cavers Rick Hunter and Stephen Tucker exploring the rising star cave system near Johannesburg, which is the single richest fossil site of its kind ever found in Africa, they discovered a tiny-brained species with shoulders and a torso like an ape's but with some unshakably human-like features as well and they named the species Homo naledi after the Sesotho word for star. This species has been estimated to have existed between 300,000 and 200,000 years ago in South Africa according to some unofficial reports. Between November 2013 and March 2014, over 1,550 specimens belonging to at least 50 Homo the Lady individuals were recovered from this site which makes this excavation the largest collection of a single hominin species that has been found in Africa. An additional 133 Homo naledi specimens were found in nearby Lesedi chamber in 2013 representing at least another three individuals, two adults and a juvenile. Homo naledi had a surprising combination of features of modern and archaic traits with some parts of its skeleton indistinguishable from those of modern people while other parts looked almost ape-like. Individuals of this species was found to be 1.49 meters with an average weight of 39.7 kgs and with a brain size of around 600 cubic centimeters only. Its hands, wrists and feet are very similar to those of modern humans and Neanderthals, while other characteristics are much more primitive. Homo naledi's anatomy suggests it walked on two legs with a modern gait and an efficient long-distance stride. Its shoulder position and shape of its fingers would have helped it climb and hang from trees and could be traits retained from a more ape-like ancestor. Scientists say the brains of Naledi may be small but it's packed with a big punch as it is a lot like ours. Fossils of this species were obviously found in the D. Naledi chamber situated in South Africa as described by scientists but the most exciting aspect is that the nature of the remains suggests that they were intentionally deposited in the deep cavern where they were discovered. The D. Naledi chamber is 30 minutes away from the entrance, so if the fossils were placed there intentionally, what could be the reason? Well, it could be a burial site, or could it be that the individuals could have wandered into the caves and got trapped? But this is also unlikely though. However, the discovery of Homo naledi remains in two chambers far apart from each other with no direct underground connection and difficult to reach from the surface is compelling evidence for deliberate placement. The dating of these fossils was quite unofficial as said, so the question that arises is where does this species fit in the family tree? Without a proper dating, Homo naledi is just like a twig looking for a trunk. Some subsequent studies tried to fill the void by statistically estimating Homo naledi's age based on how its skull and teeth were when compared to other hominins. One study pegged the species at about 2 million years old, give or take, whereas another study done by Simon Fraser suggested it was about 912,000 years old plus or minus about a million years. In 2017, it was published that the species were between 236,000 and 335,000 years old, which really took scientists by surprise 
because this is astonishingly young for a species that still displays primitive characteristics. It is still unclear though how Homo naledi fits onto humankind's tree in spite of the more recent age for the known Homo naledi remains. Its morphology suggests that it could in fact be a better candidate for our most recent ancestor, surviving millions of years in tandem after giving rise to the branch leading to modern humans. Many mysteries surround Homo naledi, including how the remains got into the caves, what its tools were like and how it survived alongside bigger brained species. Another mystery is Homo naledi's hands and wrists were well suited to tool making but no stone tools have yet been found associated with its fossils. Now coming to the survival of the species. Due to the lack of other animal fossils or tools associated with Homo naledi, very little is known about the ecology and life of this species. Its teeth, in fact, differ from other Homo species that lived around the same time. So it may be that Homo naledi inhabited a distinct environment from that occupied by other Homo species, despite having many other morphological similarities. Just as the title of the video, Homo naledi is indeed one species full of mysteries. Besides mysterious, this species is also pretty interesting. But sadly, we still don't know what happened to them in the end. What views do you have on this guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. For more related videos, do remember to check our channel out as we have made tons just for you. And do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.